Hey, listeners of the Blue Security Podcast. We have a special episode with some news to share. And so let's get right into it. I'll throw it over to Andy. Andy, do you have uh, some career information that might affect the show that you want to share? Well, I don't know if it's going to affect the show. And I think that's the whole point of this announcement right. is uh, I'm starting a new job. When you hear this podcast episode re- being released, I'm going to be a senior technical specialist, cloud endpoint for Microsoft. And I'll be talking about zero trust and device management and a couple other things like Azure virtual desktop and some cloud solutions for the modern management world. So um, the point that we wanted to kind of just record for our listeners is as if you've been listening along to our podcast, you'll know that we try to stay as agnostic as possible when it comes to different vendors and different tools. And we're absolutely not going to change that. We're both security practitioners. I know Adam has been in sales and technical sales for a while, but if you've listened to our episode, we really try to not push all the different Microsoft solutions while we do have expertise in those areas and we'll most certainly advocate for certain uses of those tools. We're not trying to shove certain product down your throat. Absolutely. And that's why we wanted to record this is just to share the news about Andy making the leap and how it does, or really, like you said, doesn't affect the show. Microsoft has a great social media policy that's really open to allow employees to do their own personal projects, do their own podcasts, do their own YouTube channels, whatever the case may be. That's that's not only like okay, but it's encouraged. And I think of there's many softies that are that are pretty famous for their efforts outside of work. Scott Hanselman uh, is a you know notorious podcaster, YouTuber. Christina Warren with Rocket, great podcast by the way. If you want an all female tech podcast, love her work. Um, she's amazing, and she's done other shows too. Inside of Microsoft, she's worked on um, shows with her CTO Kevin Scott, podcasts for that, as well as again shows outside of work, like a show with Verizon about all the cool stuff 5G can do. So long story short, we are allowed to and encouraged to have things outside the show. And to be clear, we do this show on our own time. This isn't a Microsoft sponsored show. It's nothing to do with the company other than now we are both going to work there. And so the reason this doesn't change the show is to be candid. We have already had to, you know, be conscientious about the fact that I have worked for Microsoft the whole time we've recorded this show and you know, we might not necessarily have a a vendor who is a fierce competitor of Microsoft come on and pitch a product, but in general, we don't have vendors come on and pitch product on our show. That's that's not really what it's about. Uh, we want to talk about practitioners and and concepts and ideas, and and sometimes yes, that of course extends to tooling, and we will share the the knowledge we have on specific tools that again we might have more familiarity with, and that won't change either. But we're really conscientious of this, right? We don't want this to be seen as a vendor specific show or a vendor favored show. Um, and so we'll do as much as we can within the framework of, you know, ultimately Satya signs our paychecks and we do have to be um, conscientious of our day job. But to be clear, this is a show that's outside of the realm of our day job and we do it on our personal time. And um, we have no oversight that's been requested. We have no managerial review that's been requested. None of that exists. There's a lot of trust in us to do the right thing. And we hope to continue to do the right thing for our employer, um, ourselves, and most importantly, our listeners. And without you guys, of course, there wouldn't be a show. And so that's, that's why we're here. We, we love to get the feedback and the um, response we do week in and week out. So thanks for listening and just kind of know ultimately not a whole lot's going to change. Anything else I forgot to mention, Andy? Yeah, I just, we have had some vendors, but most of the time they're partners already of Microsoft. Mm-hmm. So Microsoft has a ton of partners and products that they work with. And so, you know, we may have different things, different folks who come on for that. And of course, 
as Adam said, you know, we do this on our own time. It's because we're passionate about information security and we really do this to try to improve and mentor the folks in the community and try to pass on our knowledge. So mm-hmm. again, not trying to push any type of specific product or tooling, just passing on our knowledge and expertise and experience in the areas that we're familiar with. And, you know, one last thing is that, of course, Microsoft occupies an interesting space in information security as one of the very large operating system providers and large productivity service providers. And there's there's a, a gravity to the efforts of the company that are, are hard to escape from no matter who does the show. Uh, you can't really do a security show without talking about Windows or, or Microsoft 365 because they're so ubiquitous across corporate America and um, enterprises everywhere, really. And and so that, of course, you know, as, as those subjects come up, just just keep in mind, like, there's really not a way not to. And it's it's again, it's it's not us doing anything other than just trying to bring the most value possible. So. And thanks again for listening. We appreciate all the feedback that we've gotten. So hopefully and that's now, not going to change. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.